We're recording. We're recording. Oh. Now, I don't know much about the cities that y'all are from, but the city where I'm from, there is absolutely nothing to do. I'm from that kind of city where people spend their free time watching their grass grow. Yes, we are that bored in this city. I once found myself spending my free time watching Rugrats on my Wii U instead of going to the mall like a regular teenager should be doing. Nah, but here in wrestling, we don't have a mall. What we have is better. We have a place where the later the time of night it is, the less they care about you riding a bike inside. A place where your dreams come true. A place where you can meet the strangest of all people. Most of y'all know it as Walmart. In Ruston, the only forms of entertainment we have in the city is the movie theater and Walmart. Walmart is a place where teenagers will go to have fun and see how long it takes for them to get kicked out. Why? Because YOLO. Now one day, me and my boy John were chilling at my house. It was like 3 a.m. at this time. Now we're reaching the end of the summertime, and you know how that screws up your sleeping schedule. So me and him are like completely nocturnal at this point. I'm like a bat. Now me and him just both graduated from high school, and we're about to get ready to go to college. So we start feeling kind of hungry, and we decided to make a food run somewhere. So we decided to go to Walmart to get some ramen noodles. We're getting ready for that college life. Son. So we hop in John's car, we drive over to Walmart, we get the ramen noodles, then we go pay for them, and then we walk out to the store. Now I'm bare for this, so the employees already know I'm up to no good. As soon as I walked in, I set off the thug alarm. Now we're sitting there chatting in the parking lot. We see two of those electric Walmart buggies sitting there staring at us, practically begging us to start riding them. Now everybody knows that those electric Walmart cars are designed for people that are fat or crippled. And neither of us are fat, so we have to turn into straight crips. Me and John, we're solid actors. Now I grab my knee and we start limping towards the carts like we just got out of the hospital. Where is my Oscar, people? Next thing you know, me and John are driving the Walmart carts around the parking lot like they're our own bumper carts. Before we even do the light pose and cruise on all that two miles per hour, me and him are just cruising. Then a wild thug at you drives by in his Cadillac and sees us, rolls down his window and gives us two some deuces. We throwing him back at him like, hey, yo, it's my dog. We didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose us. We weren't satisfied with the entertainment we were getting this night, so we decided to take it up an octave. Down the road from Walmart, there is a Lowe's store. Lowe's ain't a Walmart, so they don't have the fortunes of having those electric Walmart carts. Now, me and John were feeling awful generous that day, so we decided to drive the Walmart carts all the way to Lowe's. We're cruising down the road at two miles per hour, waving at the traffic driving by. We're stopping at stop signs because we don't, we don't break rules. It was a long but eventful journey. A few minutes later, an old lady in stroller zooms past us. Be up, you little kids! It's not our fault, we're trying to stay below the speed limit. So we get to Lowe's, we take some pictures, you already know we Instagramming. Then we go ahead and turn the parking lot to our own little go-kart track. And then we start thinking, you know where else doesn't have electric buggies? Oh uh, yeah, the movie theater. So we take off on the way to the movie theater. John's car has a more battery than mine, so he's slightly ahead of me, and I'm like lagging behind. And so using my peripheral vision, I see directly behind me, and a cop is zooming at 100 miles per hour straight towards us. We tried to outrun him, but he was just slightly faster than us. So we had no choice but to surrender and step outside of our vehicle. So the cop walks over to us and asks, hey, what's up, what are y'all up to? Where did y'all get those carts from? And we're all like, oh yeah, we got them from Walmart. We are kind of bored, so we drove them all the way to Lowe's. So the cops are like, yeah, you know that's a theft, right? And that's a felony charge. So me and John look at each other. Like, we had no idea. Oh um, yeah, we have a 10-4. John's over there freaking out like, oh my god, what the hell is a 10-4? The cops calling it a 10-4, man, we're screwed. Uh, John, yeah, I think that's an electric chair. So we're there chatting with the cop for about five minutes. And then three more cops come rolling through the parking lot, straight towards us, as if we were on the run. Then those three cops step out of the car and start talking to us. Fun fact, one of the cops was the same cop that caught me and John trespassing at our school rival's football field the week before that. The look on John's face when he saw the other cop again was priceless. So the cops start talking among themselves for a minute, and me and John are talking to each other. The cops said they're going to call Walmart and ask if they wanted to press charges. At this time, we come with strategies for how we're going to stay safe in jail. You drop the soap, I got your back. You keep a lookout for Big Andy at night, I got him in the morning. Me and John just stand there chatting, and then out of the blue, one of the cops lunges towards John, grabs his arm, slap handcuffs on him, and pulls him over towards the other car. Another cop comes does the same to me, and I got my phone in my hand. I'm like, sir, I'm gonna leave my phone in my pocket. No! Shut up! Okay, 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 God, man. Okay, I'm chilling, man. So the cop takes my phone out of my hand and puts it on top of the car. And at this point, I knew we weren't gonna get arrested, because what kind of cop is gonna take my phone and leave it on top of my car and then take us to jail? I mean, really? So we get thrown in individual police cars. Then one cop goes to John's car, and then another one comes to mine. They start talking to us about how bad family charges were, what they'll do to our record, how we can never get a job now, how we can't go to college. I'm just sitting there listening to them like, yeah, you're just trying to scare me. I know what you're trying to do. It's not working. I explained to the cop that if I knew that this was a felony charge, then I would not have done it in the first place. He's all like, how would you like it if someone took your car and drove it somewhere? Uh, no. It's more like if I let someone borrow my car and they take it farther than I expected. See, I got him on that one, man. I know what I'm talking about. 
talking about? You can't scare me. After all their attempts of trying to scare and frighten us, telling us Boogeyman and Slenderman stories, they finally tell us that Walmart decided not to press charges on us. Duh. They let us up the police cars and tell us that we gotta drive the Walmart cars all the way back to Walmart, and we got ourselves a police escort doing that. That was the most famous I've ever felt in a while. We had to go talk to the Walmart manager. She was cool about it. She was in a good mood, so she didn't set press charges. She just told us to never do it again. She explained that college kids do stuff with those electric Walmart carts all the time, and that they're really expensive. And that was pretty much it. She lets us get off with a warning, and we leave the store and we go to our car. We chat from thinking, was it worth it? Yeah. But I didn't realize until we got home that we didn't have our ramen noodles.